She was a good girl. Not the strongest girl in all of this world, but her curly brown hair was blowing in the breeze. Her eyes were bright green and filled with laughter. Here, on this beautiful holiday, in the brilliant white caravan, she was jumping out to go and play. She'd never been here before. She could have gone to the arcade to play, but you could see all of the other children who had just arrived. This was the first family holiday that she could remember. And now the sun was high, with hard shadows upon the ground, dark shadows from the cut and manicured bushes all around the side of that park. Full story, year six. Who? Who? She was a good girl, a thin girl, and she loved her curly brown hair as it would float and fly in the breeze. She had bright green eyes and she could not believe her eyes as she looked at this, the beautiful surroundings for this holiday. They'd travelled so far in this brilliant white caravan and now when they'd stopped in this field she was jumping. She was going to go out to play. She'd never been here before. In fact, this was the first family holiday that she could remember. Now, there was a smell in the air of the arcade. All of the different games gave an electric smell to the air. But she could see some strangers, some boys and girls, standing not too far away. And she decided, now with the sun high and casting hard shadows, that she was going to play with them, rather than go to the arcade. But as the sun went up, it started to cast darker shadows from the cut and manicured bushes all around. Everyone said there was a beautiful game, a great game inside of the arcade. It was a yellow Rolls Royce, a driving game. She wasn't sure if she should have gone. She wasn't that old, but the arcade, she could see the caravan from the side of it. But it was when a huge yellow bus uh, and all of the children laughed. They'd never seen a bus this colour, not from their towns, not from their cities. They'd never seen one like this. And they said, let's go. We'll get onto this bus and see where it takes us. She knew that she was too young to go on this bus. But rather than be called some kind of coward, she could not stop herself. She jumped onto it and they drove. And it seemed as if they'd wandered far away from this place. And when the bus came to a stop, they were surrounded by trees and moonlight. Some of the older children tried to pretend that they were good and strong and weren't scared but when one of them looked through the trees they screamed they'd seen something that looked just like an alien's mask they screamed and yelled they ran as far as they could but this girl she looked and she thought what could i do she'd been told that she shouldn't have done this kind of things but she'd gone with them after all of the things that she'd been told she remembered her mother sitting her down saying as they were having some fruit after tea, you must not go by yourself. And these supposed older, stronger, braver children were screaming and yelling like babies. They started to run to some light, light from a subway by the edge of that forest. And when they saw a dog with an old plastic bag over the side of his head and pieces of paper stuck to his cheeks and chin, she looked at them. So, this was your adventure, to be scared by a dog with a lump of paper on its head. Well, if you ask me, we need to find our way. They'd run this way and that, and had forgotten which way they'd gone. But this girl remembered that this old arcade was starting to fall to bits. It was painted, it was glued, and she sniffed the air. And she trusted her sense of smell. She followed that terrible stink of the, that gooey glue. And when they came back to home, she promised herself that she would never go off without telling anyone at all. But when her own children were small, they would sit and ask her to tell the story of the day she was frightened by an alien. <laughs>